welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to personalize ornaments for this upcoming holiday season. So let's get into today's video. So I'm going to start off by showing you supplies that I'm using. So I got these ornaments from Hobby Lobby and um, they're just a six pack of ornaments, the Ovalier ornaments. And then um, I'm using Duraclear high gloss and then um, I'm using uh, just extra fine gloss glitter i've had this glitter for a while i don't even know the name of it <laughs> but um i'm pretty sure i got this from michael's and then um you're going to need some cups so you can um catch the glitter i use two cups so i can do two ornaments at a time and then i'm going to use sticky notes and i'll tell you why later on when i get to that part i found that it was so much easier to use sticky notes to um i'll tell you why in a minute <laughs> but you're gonna open up the box and um <clears throat> once you open up the box you just want to make sure that the ornaments are not broken um i had an ornament that was broken i didn't know that until i was doing this video so yeah you just want to make sure that you don't have any broken ornaments um i probably can still use my um ornament that's broken i just won't be able to sell it but you do want to take out these um attachments here i don't know the names of them that's why the, that long pause was there but you do want to take those out because you don't want those in there because you want to put the glitter inside of the ornament um, and you can use whatever glitter that you want to use you can use extra fine glitter you can use chunky glitter but for the purpose of the ornament that i want to make as you saw in the beginning of the video i want to make a snowman so i'm using white glitter so this was the one that was broken i was highly sad um obviously i didn't know that it was broken because it was really in there tight so i don't know how it was broken but um yeah so i sped this part up here because it was just unnecessary to watch me take out all six of them so once you do that, you're going to take your uh, Duraclear um, stuff and it's it's kind of like glue. It's just a thinner um, consistency of Mod Podge. So um, I put a paper towel down. These are shop towels. So these are towels, paper towels that mechanics use. They are very, very durable. They are lint free. So you can use these for tumblers. You can use these for any other crafting project that you are doing. So... For the Duraclear um, high gloss, you can use a, a syringe or you can just pour it in there. I've used both. Um, if you ca caught my first live on TikTok, I was using the syringe, but um, after a while it started to plug up. So I started to just pour it in there just with a cup or just by, its, uh, by the bottle. So you want to pour a lot in there. Um, I was just kind of being gracious with it, but you can pour a lot in there because it's, it's going to end up draining in the cup. And then once it turns clear and I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it turns clear, um, it takes about three minutes or so, maybe one to two minutes, one to three minutes or so for it to turn clear. And that's when you can go in and pour in your glitter. And I'll show you my little method that I came up with for the glittering. Um, yeah, so I'll come back. So we are back now and um, I let these sit about a minute or so, minutes or two minutes. I was doing other things. I was preparing for my vinyl and all of that good stuff. So I told you that you can use um, other things to funnel in your glitter. I've seen people use a funnel, but um, I wanted to use, um, I don't have a funnel. So I I have paper um, sticky notes. These are paper sticky notes. I have them laying around everywhere. You see how clear it is. You don't see the cloudiness of the Duraclear in the ornament. So that's what you want. You want it to be clear. So you want to roll it up like like this so it can fit in there. And then um, 
you're going to take your glitter and I, I did this for my first time on live. So you're going to take a cup um, and you could just pour it in there as well. But I pour a lot of glitter in there because you're going to be using a lot of glitter. So um, once you take your glitter, you're going to pour it in the um, your makeshift um, sticky note funnel. <laughs> and then you're going to tilt your ornament. And you can use a lot of glitter. I found that using a lot of glitter was um, better than using a little bit because then you can't go back and add, you know. But if you mess up, this is um, water uh, waterproof, I believe, or you can go and wash it out and then redo it. So uh, that's the nice thing about this DuraClear stuff because I messed up on my, I made other ornaments and I'll show you those. So I went and I washed it out with soap. So you can redo it if you mess up on some of these ornaments. So that's the nice thing about these projects is that if you mess up the first time, you can restart. So look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Um, so it is. Uh, it does have a little bit of a hint of a tint to it. I mean, so that's okay. Um, I think it still looks pretty. So I'm going to speed this up. This is so much easier than using like a silicone funnel because some of that glitter sticks to that silicone. And uh, you can just go through some of those sticky notes that you're not using because <laughs> I have a whole bunch of sticky notes in my home that I'm not using. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to play some music and yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I did have a, another video in mind, but that will be posted on Friday. So I apologize that this video was a little bit late, but um, just enjoy me uh, swirling around some glitter and uh, in an ornament and I'll come back with uh, my vinyl and everything like that. So once I was done cleaning up, I just wanted to show you guys that you can reuse your Dura Clear um, in the cups. You can just pour one in the other and then just pour it back into the bottle. It's not contaminating anything. Um, you won't even notice that you reused it in different ornaments. Um, and you don't have to use it for the Ovalier. I believe I'm saying that right. Um, for these small ones here, you can use them for the round ones as well. And I do plan on using them for those as well as well. So um, that is an effective one. And there is no bro broken glass in there. So I don't even know how it came broken. But um, so you just want to let those sit for a while. And those um, are the brown ones that I did as well. Can you guess what those are going to be? And um, I was just showing you how those can be tied. And these are the green ones that I did on live. Um I did the green ones, the brown ones, and then also the red ones that I'm going to show you here right now. So can you guess what the red ones are going to be too? Um, but uh, I just wanted to show you the uh, snowman one, how I did the vinyl. So um, weeding the small intricate pieces on vinyl is just so difficult for me sometimes. So um, 
all of the SVG files um, I got off Etsy. I'll link down below in the description box. But um, this took me the longest was weeding out all of this and then putting it on the ornament. And I say that because each ornament smile had seven dots. Seven. That's a lot. So, and it cut um, each individual piece because I had each I had different things I was doing I decided to do all my ornaments at once so yeah so I decided that I wanted to I decided to cut like a piece of backing off of another um piece um because I was doing a, another ornament so you'll see here once I get all of my pieces cut out that uh also I have like my own little trash bin here for my vinyl it's just easier but um, yeah, so I found that it was easier to take like a piece of backing off of another vinyl piece and then attach all of my pieces for my snowman onto there and then attached it onto my ornament, if that makes sense. So I'll show you that process once I get to that clip and then you'll see what I mean when I say that. Um, so here I am just taking out the pieces there for the eyes and yeah, so... It was a lot, um, but it was so satisfying. So when I say the backing piece, that's the backing piece where the little smiles are. So the eyes and then the snowman and the snowman's nose, I took that off by by itself. So that part I did off camera to see how I wanted to do this. And I just found that it was so much easier to just find something with a backing on it and just take it off and put it on there. By itself and then take a piece of transfer tape and put the transfer tape on the ornament it was just easier that way but so just enjoy me doing this process I'll put some music on
So once you are done with putting your vinyl on top of the ornaments and it is dry, you just want to take your attachments that we took out when we first took it out of the box and you want to make sure that it is dry. You can do this once you finish putting your vinyl on top or you just want to wait 24 hours, you can do that. But you just want to make sure, you can also hot glue it in as well, but you just want to make sure you don't scratch your glitter. But um. You can put it in there and then you can take ribbon or you can take um, twine. I'm using twine because it gives me this more rustic feel. And um, then it's all ready for your Christmas tree. And it's ready to, you know, give away to friends and family or it's ready to give away to customers. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys look forward to um, Friday's video as well. It will be posted Friday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So don't forget to like, comment and have that post notifications on and I will see you in Friday's video. Bye guys. <laughs>